Hey folks, and uh, welcome back to episode 4 of Todd Builds a CH750 Cruiser. The, uh, the goal for today was to complete the rudder. Didn't quite get there, but it got very, very close. So the day started off with uh, cleaning up a lot of the uh, rudder skeleton components and getting them ready to prime which is uh, what I'm doing uh, in this part of the video here, uh, going in and out, in and out, taking parts outside to, uh, to paint, uh, or to prime, I should say. My uh, favorite primer is uh, Nason, N-A-S-O-N. It's a self-etching primer. One of the reasons that I really like it is because it dries to the touch in about five to seven minutes. So uh, it is very toxic. Uh, it's nothing that you want to spray, you know, inside your workshop. I will occasionally do a quick touch up here and there, but, uh, for the most part, I take the parts outside and, uh, give them a quick spray. Uh, I only prime the mating, uh, surfaces. I don't do everything, uh, primarily because of cost, a little bit of weight, uh, as well. Uh, even though I live on the coast here, I'm pretty confident that uh, just priming the uh, the mating surfaces alone will be sufficient for keeping the airplane uh, very well protected. So uh, this is uh, after uh, after priming. So uh, starting to do some uh, some reassembly work here, uh, clean up clean up some overspray from the uh, from the spar from the rudder spar. And if you notice here, I'm putting the um, hinge on first. This turns out to be a problem. I did it this way thinking that, uh, well, without the ribs in the way, I'd have a lot easier time uh, cleaning up overspray from uh, priming, but that you can't do it that way. Uh, there's just not enough room between the ribs and the hinge to do the hinge first. The, the ribs have to be uh, completely riveted to the rudder, to the uh, rudder spar first. So here, here I'm drilling it out. Uh, all those rivets that went into that, uh, into that hinge, uh, all those A5 rivets, uh, the whole row <laughs> had to be uh, had to be drilled out. Uh, in the end, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, I guess I could judge by this video how long it took. Probably about 30 or 45 minutes uh, is probably all it truly cost me, but. Uh, Kind of sucks having to drill out, you know, I don't know, 25, 30 rivets uh, just so that you can put three, <laughs> three in the ribs. But, uh, hey, live and learn. And uh, here you can see my buddy Tom. He came over to help out uh, as well. He started learning to fly back in the 60s. And uh, he did solo, but he never got his pilot's license. So he is thinking about getting back into it now. And he's recently joined our local Oak Island uh, EIA chapter. And uh, so he's never been around uh, airplane construction before. So I'm teaching him a little bit here uh, about, uh, well, the finer points, I guess, of deburring. And uh, we're prepping uh, the skin here for uh, for priming. He helped out a lot. He was, he was actually a big help today. So, uh, uh, you know, we got this... Uh, Basically all, 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 all primed and, and ready now. It's outside, uh, like I said, uh, where I take everything to, uh, to paint. So here shortly, uh, we'll come back inside and uh, put the skeleton uh, that's on the back of the, uh, the work, work uh, bench there. We'll put that inside. Uh, while the uh, skin was drying, we did uh, go ahead and start on the, uh, the, the tip rib, the plastic. Uh, as well as the tip rib for the uh, for the rudder, go ahead and uh, drilling out those uh, ten pilot holes, and then opening them up to uh, A fours. So that uh, helped fill some time while the skin was drying, and uh, now the skin is dry. And so teaching him now about as far as clecoing from uh, you know from the center out and from the trailing edge forward. He was a big help for this. Uh, it really sped up the process having uh, having a another set of hands in there, uh, not just for the deburring, but uh, 
for the clay cleaning, for putting in the, the, the rivets. Uh, it really did help out a lot. It probably saved me, uh, you know, a good half hour, 45 minutes of time just having uh, some second, a second set of hands there helping out. The, uh, the goal, like I said, was to get the, the rudder completely done. That didn't happen. Uh, the lower horn still needs to be attached, and the plastic uh, tip rib still needs to be installed. Uh, only, uh, only the 10 forward rivets, uh, rivet holes are drilled in it right now. So it has to be fitted and uh, everything else drilled. But uh, very good progress today. Uh, six hours standing on that concrete. My, uh, my feet were just killing me. So at this point in the day, I was seriously thinking about calling it quits, and uh, shortly did. But uh, good day. A lot of good progress, and the rudder will be done very soon.